Who is being mean to you? I don't cause any problems, haha. I'm trying to stay in my room and watch TV, read, and stuff, but they keep dragging me out to play cards. Good morning, dear. How did you sleep? Meh. I don't want to get into it. I don't like talking about negative stuff with you. I was just upset when I messaged you last night. A lot of people are just very opinionated. Good. The more time you spend in your room, the better. I slept okay, but I'm still not well, so I called out of work. I'll go back tomorrow if I'm still sick, since I don't want to miss too many days. How'd you sleep? Uh, I understand. I'm sorry you've got to deal with them. It's too bad people make up their minds before they know all the facts. I play cards all morning. Now I'm in the cool click. Soon, no one will be bothering me now. Aw, oh, baby, I hope you feel better. Pretend I'm there being Big Spoon. I slept well. I woke up to some shouting and BS, so that wasn't awesome. Sorry, I replied so late. You usually don't get back to me until nowish. I love you. Have a good day off. Yeah, and I'm really not in a position I want to be in. It's not very fun, and it just sucks so much. That's good, hun. Just stay on people's good side, but don't be their BFF so you don't get in trouble for that. I'm cuddling with the dogs, and they're helping me feel better. I'm just salty that James got better already, and I'm just stuck. I'm sorry you woke up to yelling. I hate that for you. I really wish this never happened and we just moved away somewhere we could fish and play with dogs. Pray as we win the lotto or something like a miracle. I'm sorry again. Yes, ma'am. I'm just coasting. I got a chicken breast today, so I'm making the brick. I did the gauntlet today. Legs, arms, and tummy. No one wants to do that with me. Aw, oh, Lucky, have you gotten any emergency yet? Hun, trust me, that's exactly what I want. There's just a lot out of our control in this world, and we just have to deal with it. That would be awesome. Have you been getting tickets regularly? It sucks. Sucks that you don't have a workout, buddy. Yeah, and it was gross. Yeah, but I don't feel like having to deal with it because it sucks, and I just want to throw a tantrum, but I can't. Every once in a blue moon. What all have you done today? Pretty much just spent it with Mom. She needed me to run errands with her, so we got a couple groceries, and she also wanted to see Christmas stuff. I'm sorry, hun. I really hope you'd stay in bed and get better. Emergency and naps and soup. I wish we could go to Black Friday together. I wanted to, but you know how Mom is. Me too. I wish we could go grocery shopping and Christmas shopping or just Target runs like we used to. I miss you pushing the cart around and trying to tell me to be smarter with my money. Simpler times. I totally understand, lol. Yes, dear. Simpler times. But please try to make the best of a bad situation. Yes, I understand you're upset, but only time will fix things, unfortunately. You can ride in the cart next time. I'll push you around and put the random stuff you grab back on the shelf. I'm having a really, really hard time doing it, hun. You're my person, and I don't have my person. Like, we're supposed to be there in times like this for each other. Are you and your team confident? I just really want this all to be over. I love riding in the cart, but I want to get all the Star Wars action figures, and you can't put my babies away. And I want stuffed animals, too, and all the pretty clothes and home items. You promised me I got to decorate our place, and I'd like to hold you to that. I am too, dear. I miss you so dang much. I honestly have no idea if my team is confident or not. Plus, I don't know if they even know what you've been talking about. 
but I am confident. LOL. I'll just let you grab two per trip. Target home decor is gross though. It's all like hippie stuff. But yes, you get to decorate. So your choice. Meds are super late, so I'm grumpy and tired. I walked 16 miles or more this evening. Good night, baby. I love you. Feel better, hun. Okay, hun. If you're confident, I'm going to keep pushing and keep going. It's just so hard, and I don't know anything, and it's a lot for me mentally. Yay, my figure collection will all grow. And it's either Target decor, or we're going full Halloween or goth style. I'm sorry meds are late, but dang, 16 miles is a lot, B. Good night, hubby. I love you, too, and I'm doing my best to get better. I'll keep pushing, dear. Stay strong and keep your head up. Yes, it will. I want to make two thrones for either end of a really long dining table, lol. It'll look like something out of an Adams Family movie. I'm happy when I walk. I don't know why, but it's nice. Good morning, wifey. How did you sleep? How are you feeling? I'm doing my best, hun. LOL. Like Iron Thrones? Like in Game of Thrones? I've never seen it. Also, I watched the new Adams Family movie, the animated one, and it was okay, but it was definitely aimed at children, lol. I'm sure it makes you feel a little healthier. Good morning, I didn't get much sleep, and I'm still not feeling well, so I called out, but I ended up having to take care of my grandma today anyways, so it worked out, I guess. How did you sleep? Sorry it took too long to get back to you. I've been with her all day since I woke up so far. I don't know what they look like, but maybe. Yeah, I'm sure walking does that, but it helps me think. I'm sorry, dear. You should really try some vitamin C tablets or drink mix. It helps. I slept all night, thankfully. How's your grandma? I hope your day is going well. I don't know, like the swords made into a big chair? Well, that's good. I did the vitamin C drink. That's good. She's good. She turned 72 yesterday, but she really only looks 60. That's because her hair is silver. My day was good, but now it's an oof. I'm home alone and kind of just showered, and then I'm sitting on the bathroom floor. Oh, I saw that on Parks and Recreation. We can do a lot of walks together soon. How do you feel after it? It probably helped that I walked and did the gauntlet. That's awesome. Wish her a late birthday. Aw, oh, hun, are you alright? What's the oof? Eee, sounds good. But probs on the way back, you'll have to carry me, lol. About the same, to be honest. Sure be. I don't know, I've just been really depressed lately, and get triggered over stuff since you've been gone. You know the stuff, and it's been so hard. LOL, we could try one of the two people bicycles. I saw lawyers today. They seem confident in what they're telling me. I'm sorry you're depressed. I wish I could be there for you. No, red and wine voice. I want to be carried. That's good. I'm glad they're all so confident. Me too. It's just been so much, and you already know I'm not the strongest mentally, so it's just been a lot. I'd like the kind words or letters, please. And I don't know. To be babied would be super nice. Haha, <laughs> alright baby. But we should still try one of those bikes. They look fun. I'm glad they are too. I know, hun. I'm writing letters for you, but I'm out of stamps. So I'm waiting for a bit. Okay, hun? Good night, beautiful. I love you a ton. Okay, but your prob's gonna end up doing the most work, and I'm gonna try to go way fast, and we crash. They're nice people. I bought you five stamps. You sent four letters. Did you lose one, or are you talking to other people? Good night. Love you, too. All right. So I'm in jail. Don't give me the petty love you too. If I pulled that, you would flip out on me and not talk to me for days. If you've got something to tell me, say it. If anything has changed, then tell me. I'm not in a good place mentally, and I'm in a really shitty place in general. So you doing all this stuff to mess with me isn't good. Please stop. 
I used one of my stamps to try and get the stimulus. It didn't work. Good morning. I'm not in a good place mentally. They're going to bring up something that's trauma for me, and it's all I can think about, and it's really stressing me the fuck out. So sorry if that just so happens to bring up those emotions and made me think about the stamps. Not everyone is trying to purposely mess with you, least of all me, because I have been taking very good care of you under these circumstances, and you know I, have been doing the be I haven't been doing the best mentally lately. So sorry if all of that emotion came bubbling up, but that happens, and you know that. Good morning. I'm going back to work today. I understand why you're upset, but I want you to know where I'm coming from. I'm not alright either, and I can't get help. I can't talk about how I feel, and I'm having all that and more come up. I'm really tired of having to pretend to be okay and just listen to everyone vent their problems to me, and it sucks because I'm not able to help calm you down, but something as simple as spelling out three words can change my entire day while I'm in jail. That's how I feel. I hope you can understand. I'm really trying to be here for you, but it's hard. I'll talk to you later. Finally found out what you were talking about. I'm still confident. Not much change. And thank you for ordering things for me. Thanks for taking care of me. If I use the soap during the trial month, I will smell pretty. I hear where you're coming from, but I've been trying so hard to stay positive all the time. I try to listen to your problems, but you won't talk about it or how you feel at all. I'm glad you're confident. It was a lot. You're welcome. I knew you wouldn't get a Halloween basket, so I got you a couple things to hopefully still get you some holiday while you're away. I hope you enjoyed the candy and stuff I got you. I thought you said something about dropping a toothbrush in the toilet, and I had a feeling you still wouldn't buy a new one. You know I can't talk about anything on this, dear. Well, I only heard about one thing. Thank you, baby. I didn't get to wrap myself in toilet paper for Halloween. I do enjoy it all, and I actually did, haha. -ha. Clean teeth are a thing for me now, like I actually look healthy for once, since high school, and I'm in jail, haha. -ha. You can talk about how you feel that day, and what you think that feeling means. There are ways to work around it instead of bottling it up, okay? I don't like being shut out of all that part of you. I mean, it was one thing, but it was a lot mentally, and a lot of a whole situation. I'm sorry, there is always next year. I thought teeth was always a thing for you. You've always brushed them since I've been with you or stayed with you. Unless you were drunk, lol. I forgot what I got you other than, like, candy and snacks and that fancy smancy soap. I thought you'd use it for your face. What stuff are you in need of? I'll figure something out. Everything I say is going to be flipped around. They're doing it to absolutely everything, and unfortunately, I have to bottle it up. They keep putting informants in the cell block. I don't talk about my stuff, but you know how these people are. They're going to say anything to get a single day off of their own sentence. I'm like about to go nuts. I'm paranoid about anything and everything, and just in general about to pop. So I'm sorry about how I am. This is a lot to keep down. I understand your worry. I hope you can hold out a little longer until you know everything. You got me some headache stuff, I think, too. But yeah, candy, soap, and toothbrush. And yeah, it used to be, but I had an electric. Now I noticed how good I had it, and in doing my best. And yeah, that fancy soap is great. It's non-scented, so I can use it on my face. Really, the stuff I'm out of is the nibblers and beans and stamps. Oh my goodness, a dude is in our block, and yes, teaching me how to draw. He gave me a learning book, and I have made you the most sappy hallmark thing I've ever made in my life. You might even gag, but you asked for it. I'll either wait for stamps or give it to the intern for you to grab it from. Good night, baby. Sleep well and get better. I love you. Good morning, how are you? 
Good morning, B. I know, but still, I don't like being shut out from that part of you. And maybe just even mentioning a little how you feel would be better. Just don't talk to people in the block about anything. Just like write a letter to me or something. We can talk about it all when we're together next. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other night. How hard it is having all the stuff you're used to having and it's gone like your phone and coffee maker and like laptop and toothbrush. Good. You're honestly really good at drawing. A lot better than me, lol. And I do love that sappy stuff a lot. I hope you can have lots of dates planned that you can take me on, lol. For now, cheese letters and drawings are fine. Sorry I didn't respond last night. I typed out a whole paragraph and it like cleared out on accident when I tried to scroll up, so I rage quit, lol. I love you too. Also, David's bridal has a camo bush light beer wedding dress. I'll write a letter on my feelings, sure. And of course I won't. The informant in my block just trapped me in my cell and took me to Bible study. And I'm so close to getting to General Pop, I don't want to set him off. It's not much different. Instead of video games, I'm reading. Instead of cooking a nice meal, I'm using hot water and plastic bags. The only real difference is I have to pay to message you and be super careful about how long I use this app. Otherwise, it's like summer camp as a kid. Everything is shitty. LOL. Oh, for sure I'll plan some dates, but you do too. I'll keep drawing. It's super hard. Thanks for the headache meds. I got a really bad one today. I miss you a lot. You're so pretty. That dress sounds amazing. Ooh, Bible study? But see, didn't I tell you from the beginning to be careful who you talk to? And people will throw you under the bus to save themselves. LOL, Shetty Suburb Camp is one way to look at it, I guess. Good way to try and stay positive. I already have some planned. I know what I want to do, but I don't know if it's winter safe. You're welcome, but are you out of them completely? I know you got a lot a while ago. I love you too, and I miss playing with your hair when your head was on my lap or chest. Yes, ma'am. I knew that from the beginning. I saw him talking to the detective. Yeah, it's probably the best description of this place. It's pretty dismal. Oh, okay. Well, I'll look into some winter ones that might be a bit more safe. I'm completely out of beans, nibblers, and stamps, unfortunately. Yeah, it was like August when you got them for me, and they lasted a long time. I missed that, too. I wrote a full envelope for you. I'll see if I can trade in here for a stamp. You'll be very happy. And I have my feelings letter. Don't read too much into it. It'll all get explained better after this is all over, alright? Good night, baby. I love you. Good morning, dear. How'd you sleep? Could you not send pics on the email anymore? I can't afford to look at them. I drew another pic for you. I'm gonna run out of room soon. I got the most comfortable pair of blue uniforms, and I don't ever want to give them back. I think sledding and building snowmen together will be good. Yay, I love letters. I get paid next week if you can't trade for a stamp. I don't want you to owe people anything. Good morning, I love you too. Sorry it took me so long to respond. I'm back at work and I'm training some of the new people. Sorry for sending pics that way. I thought even a little bit of a look would be better. I'm still trying to figure out sending photos through the mail. Thank you for another drawing. That's perfect. I love snow. I'll figure it out, baby. I just gotta hustle, haha. How are the new people? Easy to work with? You look super cute in those. Have you lost weight? Either way, you look beautiful. LOL, I might need to get two stamps. I do too. Don't get in trouble, though. Yeah, they ended up letting go the real annoying temp. Laugh my ass off. He was there in our pharmacy two weeks max, laughed my ass off. 
I lost weight when you were first gone because it was really, really hard for me to eat anything. But I'm back up to my normal weight. Every once in a while, I'll have a hard time, but it's up and down. I also got you some matching jammies so you can match with us. I love you tons. I won't get in trouble, hon, eh? Ha ha, I'm glad they're gone. Ha ha, well, I can't wait. We can be a cute couple again. And dang, BB, you look good. I love you tons, too. I just made three more pictures for you, so ha ha. Yeah, I'm getting better at art. Good, and to be honest, me too. Like he was such a big distraction. I pretty much did absolutely nothing, lol. Yes, we will, and like I said, about the same weight as before you left, lol. Yay, I really like getting drawings from you, and like I said, the sappier the better. Ah, well, I'm glad he's gone. I'm heavier, much heavier, haha. -ha. LL good, because it's sappy. I'm about to fall asleep. Hun, good night. I love you. I drew another picture, so that's why I reply so slow. I'm into drawing now. Me too. Can I still carry you? Or is it strictly hubby bubby carries little wafu? I love sappy so much, like so, so much. And I like how... It doesn't look like that on the outside, and it's definitely for people I really, really like. So, B, I like, like you. Give me sap. Good night, hun. Sleep well. I love you, too. Good morning, hun. I hope you're doing well this Saturday. I'll be carrying you, dear, lol. All right, wifey. It's like uncomfortably sappy. Good morning, dear. How are you? I slept in a long while. Yay, does that mean we can cuddle while we sleep? No blankets so you don't get too warm. Good, that's how I like it. I want to physically cringe with how sappy and lovey-dovey it is. I'm okay, just saw the Eternals movie with Talia, and it was really, really good. We should watch it too. LOL, maybe. Only if I get a body pillow. LOL. Yeah, they make me hurt a little inside when I read them. And now I have like ten drawings. And they're all better than the ones I sent you last. Oh, I'd love that. I see so many commercials about that. I cooked dang good today after exercise. You're gonna love jail food when I make it for you. Can I call you today? I have a free five-minute call. Oh, well, you can use mine. Good. I'm excited to get them. It's super duper good. I even got a poster because it was opening weekend for free. I'm glad you're making yummy food, and I'm excited to try it when you're out. Yes, you may call. What time are you thinking? Awesome. Me too. I think you'll be super happy. At least I hope, haha, ha, fingers crossed. Nice. Out of ten, what would you give it? Thanks again for food, by the way, hun. I'm calling now, okay? It hung up. I had a lot to talk about today, too. I'm pretty easy to please, lol. You know that. I miss your voice a lot, and I'm so sad and cold in my room alone. I'm sad we can't watch Christmas movies together and cuddle. Or you let out my cold feet on your back. Oh, hon, I'm sorry. Save it. I get a free call on Monday. Yeah, but I still want to do a good job on the stuff I send you, because I want you to be proud. Or, and or think I'm good at it. I miss your everything, even your hair getting caught in my mustache. We'll watch them whenever it's over, even though it won't be Christmas. Good night, wifey. I love you tons. Good morning, B. I hope you slept well. This is a loud Sunday so far. Good morning, B. Sorry I didn't respond last night. I was pouting about the short call and fell asleep. I'm very proud of the drawings you sent me, and they're very lovely especially the house ones. I also love the letters. They make me very happy. 
I miss flopping my hair on your face when you'd make me angry or when I wanted attention too. My hair is a little shorter now, so it won't be as much in your face. I love to watch Christmas movies. It should still be snowing in January and February, so it'll be okay. I'm sorry you had a loud morning. LOL, it's okay. You like the house one? I'll have to write more then, because I only have drawings for you at the moment. I knew you did it on purpose. Heck yeah. It's sad there isn't any snow at the moment, but soon I bet. They're still going. It's annoying. I really do like the house ones a lot. I don't know what the barn is for. Like our cars or like a hangout spot. Only sometimes, lol. Other times, I cannot control what my hair does because I have so much. Besides, you like how much hair I have had soon, hopefully. I'm not looking forward to icy roads or anything, but I like watching it fall. Were they being loud? Do they not get along? I don't know, haha. <laughs> it's anything, really, I suppose. I'm glad you like them. I didn't draw any new house pics. Yes, your hair is super pretty. Well, icy roads are a small price for snow, in my opinion. They're just loud people that argue over everything and talk about race whenever given a chance. I'm almost out of max, though. 120 days tomorrow. It's okay. We can look at house magazines, too, when you're out or something. Thank you, B. I miss you dyeing it and brushing it. I think you even straightened it for me like three times, lol. It makes me very nervous, so in winter you drive for me, lol. A, just be careful when you get moved. They jump people who are accused of bad crimes. So spend as much time as you can in your cell. Oh, okay. Like for interior decoration? I'm sure I did poorly, but I had fun. I love brushing your hair. Remember when I broke a brush in it? Yes, ma'am. I like ice driving. It's even slower than I normally drive, lol. I won't have a cell, it's like barracks, it's rows of bunk beds and all. But I can get soda, so kinda worth it. No, like exterior-wise, so we can see, you know? Like I love black window panes, and stuff like that. But we can look at interior too, you did well enough, lol. I remember you kept asking, if I was going to dump you, if you messed it up to the point where I thought you might do it on purpose to get me to, lol. I also remember you breaking the brush in my hair. You drive like a grandpa in regular conditions. But hun, then they can steal your stuff easier and mess with you more. I don't know how I feel about that, you know? In your blog, you're in, I can at least know you're sleeping safely in your own cell. Plus, you'll have to shower with people, which isn't safe, and they jump people more. With that, you're going to be charged with, accused of, you're going to seem like a top dog, and you know what the first rule of jail is to get respect, beat up the most biggest guy or the one who did the most. Oh, you're right. That would be cool. Can we also go to an Ikea? Uh-huh. I wouldn't dare. I think you'd kick my ass if I messed up your hair. Honestly, I'd say I'm too bored to speed, if that makes sense. And hun, the people that jump others are on this side of the jail. The other jail, in the barrack style, is the people that are calm and don't fight. It's the privileged side, because they've got more to prove that they aren't a problem. I don't know, it just seems better to me, and there's more room. You wouldn't believe how little room there is here. It's so small. We never get to leave unless a lawyer comes. So yeah, a change would be nice. But who knows if someone like me would even be able to make it to that side. But I need to get some sleep. Good night, baby. I love you. Yeah, but only if you try the food too, because it's low-key good as fuck. I definitely wouldn't, lol, like to fight. Dirty and break a nail while biting so hard I break skin, kick your ass, but it'd be with love, insert heart emoji. I don't think it makes sense to me because when I get bored I speed, lol. 
If you think you'll be safe there, then fine. You know it better than me. I just want you safe and know we're in your danger. You don't need any more trauma. Also found out Mia Califa's Kalf boobs are fake, so I kind of feel a little better because everyone was going on and on about how perfect her body is when she admitted it was fake. I very much compared myself to her a lot, and now I know and feel a little better. Good night, hun. Sleep well. I love you, too. Hey, Amanda says she misses you and would like to talk to you again someday. I heard that, too. I gotta try it and then get lost in the cabinet section. Yeah, lol. I know your love taps are a bit painful, haha. <laughs> ah, I gotcha. I don't know, it's just so much nicer out when you're not in a rush, you feel? I understand, baby. I'll be careful. And really, no one knows me or my charges unless someone tells them after they bother me. They usually let me be afterwards, too. No shit, cat. LOL. She's a porn star. Sure, she worked hard as heck, but like, fake boobs is a requirement now. Eh. I don't plan on speaking to them again, but don't put yourself in the middle of that. It's not your business. Good morning, baby. How'd you sleep? Disregard that. I'd love to talk eventually. Yeah, it's huge. Oof. You make it sound like I hit you a lot. Yeah, I guess, but my anxiety says get there right away, lol. Just never say you lost your papers because that's why child offenders say because they know they'll get beat up. Okay, sorry, it's something I was insecure about and was sharing with you. I'm not putting myself in your business, and honestly, I do think it kind of is my business, but pop off. I let her know you would like to eventually. Good morning. I got moved to shipping today. LOL, you don't. Ah, uh, yeah. I understand your logic on that. LOL. No one beats them up anyways. There's one in our block right now, and he's the smallest little dude. Nothing happens, and if it does, I'll be okay, hun. LOL. Don't be sorry. I just thought it was common knowledge. You're perfect the way you are, hun. Oh, okay. I'd prefer if you didn't pass messages to them from me. It could be taken the wrong way in translation. If they want to talk to me, they can themselves. I'd prefer you don't put yourself in the middle. But if you want to, sure, go ahead. But no, it's not your family, so no, it's not your business. You would say the same if the roles were reversed, but still up to you. Well, I said that wrong. I'm sorry if I'm overreacting. You'll understand when you get my letter, when I can send it next week. But yeah, it's just something that's too much for me right now, and I prefer if you let the topic go. I have a lot on my plate as it is. Thanks for understanding. Good night. I love you. Yeah, especially because I'm usually late. It may be common knowledge to others, but it wasn't to me. And I've been very much compared to people who look like her. And people would belittle me because my chest was small. So it's a huge insecurity of mine. I never offered to pass messages from you to them. I just said she would like to talk to you eventually and wanted to know your response. When you had something to say to Mitch, I told you to message him. And I'm trying to be there for them to let them know I'm taking care of you and they can reach out when they're comfortable. Also, what happened to the whole you wanted to get married thing? Will that still not make them my family? Because you told me Amanda would be my favorite cousin too. We can drop it, but that's how I feel about it. Good night. I love you too. Also, a cute winter date is setting up the back of my car with blankets and winter stargazing with hot drinks. That sounds super cute, hon. Good morning, dear. How'd you sleep? I slept okay. I had a hard time waking up this morning, but like I got a full night's rest. How did you sleep? I'm glad. I slept alright too. Not great, but not the worst. How's your day going so far? 
It's going good. Work wasn't awful. I just picked up Mom's birthday gift. What'd you get her? And that's good. Today is going super slow, and it's only five, and I drew two pictures for you. Got them in an envelope, too. My brothers and I split the cost of a necklace and earrings set for her. Sorry you're having a slow day. I just got out of the shower right now. Very nice of you guys. I'm sure she'll love it. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't talk too much. My meds were increased and I'm a bit wobbly. Currently I'm working on getting some stamps and might be able to tomorrow. So you'll be seeing some letters soon. I'll add in something for your mom's birthday. Good night, beautiful. I love you. Yeah, it wasn't too much since we all chipped in and we're sure she's going to like it. It's okay. Does that mean you saw a doc? Okay, but don't get in trouble trying to get them. Thank you for adding something for her. Good night, hubby. I love you, too. I bet she will. No, I didn't see a doctor, but I've got a painful bump on my butt cheek. It's bigger than a pimple. What could it be? My guess is only from sitting on a metal bench and sleeping on metal. I won't get in trouble, dear. I'm still working on it. Good morning, beautiful. How did you sleep? It could be a little cyst or ingrown hair. I slept okay. I'm having a harder and harder time waking up, lol. What about you? Geez, okay, that sucks. Because it hurts me too. The meds put me down and make me stay down, but I slept alright, just a bit sore. The guys estimated me to be about 160 pounds, so that's neat. I hope you have a good rest of your day, baby. Talk to you soon. Yeah, I'd say try to look in a mirror, but I'm sure you don't have access to one. Stretch before bed. Oh, 160? More than me before we start dating. I'm home now. Across the street sounds kind of sketchy right now. They're telling me bad stories. But at the same time, I'd like to be classified as medium or minimum. I don't know what to believe. Don't go. I don't want you anywhere near something that could be bad. Alright, hon, I won't. How was your day? Are you home safe? Yeah, I said I was in the message from 401. Are you not able to see it? It said, E. I'd say try to look in a mirror, but I'm sure you don't have access to one. Stretch before bed. Oh, 160. More than me before we started dating. I'm home now. Hmm, I didn't see it. Sort B, I'm glad you're home. Yeah. But it was, I guess, I just got hit by my medication and I'm tired, but I made a brick with another dude and I took down the stereotype of white guys not cooking. I should get some sleep. Good night, wifey. I love you. LOL, I'd like to help you with that, or at least an ethnic cuisine. Hun, I'm lonely and sad. Can we call soon? Good night, hubby bubby. I love you and miss you more than Cain loves Cain. You for sure did help me a lot. Yes, please. I'm low on money on the tablet, so only have five minutes for you free tonight. And I really need to hear your voice. It helps me draw stuff for you for some reason, like last call. I made five pictures right after for you. Good morning, baby, and wow, you love me a lot in that case. I love you just as much, hun. Okay, we can call tonight. I'm off work at 3.30 and should be home around 4 p.m. Good morning, hun. How did you sleep? I slept all right. How about you? I can call after dinner. PR, what time works for you? Around 4.30 works if that's okay. I don't know. I had a weird dream, but couldn't remember it. I also couldn't fall asleep until like 12 a.m. I also have a pimple on my chin, and it hurts. Works for me. I'm sorry, hon. That stinks. I hope you can sleep better tonight. I had a dream someone stole the brownies you gave me. I'm institutionalized a tad ouch. I got on my butt that hurts. I can jump pretty high. 
You think it's cool. The other dudes in here gave me a high five for it. Excited for you to get home, baby. Talk to you soon. I'd be so sad if someone stole your brownies. Yeah, it really, really hurts. I think it's from the mask. Does that mean you can jump with me on your back so if it's raining, my feet don't get wet? Me too. Oh yeah, that's bad. I get them from glasses. I can. Plus, if you were on my back, I can do workouts with some extra weight too. LOL, I'm calling at 4.30, hun. I'll check this once before then, just to make sure. Yeah, it's like right where the mask rubs my chin. It hurts. Yay, I want to be carried around. Plus, you're still going to have to carry my purse backpack. Hold my hand and hug me and let me brush your hair. And you have to watch me try on as much stuff as I want and hold my purse when I get my nails done. You got a lot on your plate when you're out to make up for the time gone, lol. I'm sorry, baby. Sounds good to me, dear. And, lol, then I get to make dad jokes the entire time until you're sick of me. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. Did you get your letters? It is okay. I'm washing it and stuff. You know I love dad jokes, so you're gonna have to be stuck shopping with me for a while, LL. No, the letters didn't come yet. That's good. I think I can wait, hon. I'm sad about that. I should get some sleep. I really was hoping you'd get them. I'll send out another on Monday, too. Sleep well, hon. I love you lots. I'm sure I'll get them tomorrow. I'm excited to read them. You're gonna be so dang happy. Good morning, beautiful. How are you? Good morning, hon. I'm okay. It's snowing. Can you see from your window? I didn't sleep the best, but it's okay because there is light snow this morning, so it was very pretty. How are you, and how did you sleep? I can't. It's too dirty. I'm super happy for you, though. Ha uh ha. -huh. I love snow. I'm sorry. Have you tried stretching before bed or going on a run? I'm okay. Kind of rough and super sore. I didn't sleep much either. It's not awesome. But I've got my fingers crossed you get your letters today. I'm sorry. It was really pretty. No, it's getting really dark and cold, so I get scared to be outside by myself. I didn't get the letters, hun. What day did you send them out? I bet. Oh, okay. Smart. Stay inside, baby. I sent them on Monday night. Last time, it only took two days. That means the jails just didn't send them out. Sorry, baby. I don't know what to do about that. Ask your mom, too. I asked her, and she put them where we're putting mail in the new place, I guess. I only checked the mailbox when I got home. Yeah, since it's a new neighborhood, I don't want to go running outside since we don't know people. Oh, okay, well, I hope you get to see them soon, dear. I feel that. I'm glad you're being safe. Good night, baby. I love you. I read them, hun, and I really liked the big poem with the hearts and the wings a lot. I really loved the cringe, gooey ones a lot, a lot. Because you know I love for that, lol. But I also like the funny ones, too. I'm doing it for you, lol. I feel like if something happened to me, you'd get really, really upset. Good night, hun. I love you. Sleep well. P.S. Thank you for sharing your feelings. I'm glad you liked them. I appreciate that. Be safe, because I can't be there right now. Good morning, baby. How'd you sleep? P.S. You're welcome. They made me very happy. I'm doing the best I can. No talking to strangers or going to places I don't know. I slept okay. How'd you sleep? I'm glad, hon. Thank you for putting money on my books. Thank you for staying safe. I'd be lost without you. I slept alright. I'm still super tired, but I had a big lunch and I'm about to pass out again during the lockdown.
You're welcome, B. Hope you're awake now, since you should be out of lockdown. I made spicy salmon rice again, and it was pretty good. I'll make it for you sometime. Sorry, hun. I just got the tablet. I'm hardly awake, haha. I'm so tired lately. I'd love it. it. Sounds so good. What does it taste like? I should probably get some sleep. Good night, beautiful. I love you so much. Good morning, B. How are you? I didn't sleep so good. I kept having nightmares over and over. I hope you had a better night than me. Good morning, hun. It tastes like spicy salmon and rice, and I put it on seaweed. I don't know how to describe the taste without giving you my secret recipe, lol. I slept okay, but mom woke me up super early to move my car because it snowed last night. It made my bed a cold or two. I'm sorry you keep having nightmares. Maybe it's still too warm in there. Ah, uh, okay, well, I'd love to try it, ASAP, haha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, B. That's not fun. I think it is too warm in here, but everyone keeps saying it's freezing in here. Maybe I have a fever, or just getting fat and warm, lol. As soon as you're out, I'll make you a buffet. Nope, I really want to sleep in, but it is what it is. Lol, you're not fat, if you're working out and getting muscle. Maybe you're just warmer than usual, because you're at a better weight. Can I help? I miss cooking. Ah, uh, well, at least it's a beautiful day. I look like the new Spider-Man, but if he went on a nutty bar binge, lol. Yeah, someone said that you run warm by working out. I had more pulled chicken for lunch, and it was great. I love chicken days. Of course, but I do most of the work so you can relax. Yeah, it was snowing a little, so it was nice and not too cold. Yeah, that's the way I was always warm, lol, fit af, or that's what I tell myself. Ooh, chicken. Alright, that's good with me, hun. I miss snow. Remember my birthday? That was like the last snowstorm I saw. Heck yeah, you're fit af. Heck yeah, chicken makes a bad day great. I hope you're getting to watch the game. I'm probably not going to be able to use the tablet for the rest of the day. So just in case, good night, baby. I love you. Yay, and we can try new recipes and stuff. That's good. Have you made a brick today? I didn't. I'm helping Jade and Al set up their Christmas stuff, which is fun. Good night, hun. I love you tons. Sleep well. Ooh, I want to try to make that fried pork again. I did, yeah. It was great, but I didn't mix it well, so the bottom was all salty. Well, I'm glad you got to do something fun. How many decorations do they put up each year? Good morning, wifey. How did you sleep? Oh, Katsu, with the panko? We should. I learned we were supposed to double fry it, and that's why it wasn't as crunchy. I'm sorry. I mean, hopefully it reminded you of me and how much I salt kale. Laugh my ass off. They don't really do stuff outside, but Al wants to do it this year. But we went to Target and Michael's to get, like, ribbon and new ornaments because they wanted a new color theme this year. Good morning, hun. I slept okay. Pretty much not an eventful rest. Just kind of happened, lol. How'd you sleep? Yes, what's double fry mean? How do we do that, lol? To be honest, it did. Whenever something is too salty, I think of your kale. That sounds super pretty. How big of a tree do they get? At least one of us slept well. I had bad dreams, one after another, and it sucked. Because I woke up and there was a crazy dude shouting all dang night. So it was hard to get back to sleep each time.
Double fry is where you fry it once on a little low temp, then you crank it up and fry it again. My kale is delicious. You just have bad taste, lol. They used a fake one with lights in it, but it's a decent size. I'm sorry you haven't been sleeping well. Hopefully tonight will be better and they shut that guy up. Oh, okay. That would be awesome. Your kale is just salt with a crispy green leaf in the middle. That's pretty cool, B. I'd want a big tree. Yeah, I hope so, but unfortunately the place he needs to be isn't taking many people in. Yes, B. We can do it. It's good. You're just jelly. I love big trees, but like you have to have room for them. I can't remember the last time we had a real tree. Well, we can only hope a spot opens for him. I'm sure we can. It might take a few tries for practice, if you say so, baby, lol. But like, I want it outdoors so I can decorate it every year. And it'll get really big each year, you know? Yes, he needs real help. I'm so tired and it's only six. I should probs get some sleep. Good night, baby. I love you so much. Okay. I'm excited because when other people make it, it crunches so well. Like, arg, I miss cooking with you. Oh, okay. Would we do a fake tree inside? Sleep well, hun. I love you too. I miss cooking with you too, hun. We made some really good food, like all of the time. I don't know, that's your choice. I really like outside trees with snow and lights, and if they're huge. Good morning, dear. How'd you sleep? We did, check my head. Best we ate for sure, lol. I mean, we can decorate outside trees too, but like inside, are we gonna decorate or nah? I'm a little confused on what you want. I slept okay. Hugo and Kimbo comes home tonight. How'd you sleep? Yes, we did. I just got back from court, so I'm sorry if I'm in the news again but I made it back in time for lunch. Both must be decorated so Santa can see the house, duh. I'm glad and lucky. How about Princess? I slept alright-ish. I was up a lot of the night, but it's alright. I'm glad you got lunch. I don't know if you're in the news again, but I'll ask Danny to check since I don't, I don't try to look. Laugh my ass off. Okay, hun, we can do a lot. I don't think Princess is. You don't have to have him check. Just a warning. Yes. Aw, uh, I'm sorry. She was so cute. Well, good night, B. I love you a ton. I know. It's just to see if they name drop me at all. Mostly. Or see if they said anything about me again. I want to choose all the decorations. Yeah. Since Hugo broke up with his girlfriend, he hasn't seen Princess, and neither has Kimbo. Good night, hun. I love you too. Hey, BB. No, they didn't. You know you can ask me if you get name dropped, but like I'll always do my best to leave you out of it as much as possible. I get to choose the colors of the lights then. Ah, yeah, bummer. And I bet Limbo is heartbroken. A dude just tried to fight me on my 122nd day, lol. I'm really confused what happened, but yeah, it all worked out and I didn't get hit. But yeah, haha, good night, baby. I love you. I mean, not in court, I mean in the news articles and stuff online. Or like someone just exposes I'm your girlfriend and the media runs with it. Yeah, but he's super happy to play with Chewy because that's his BFF. And he really likes Muffin. Why did he try to fight you? Do you think he was trying to get you off good behavior? What's the tea? Good night, hun. Love you. P.S. I thought you were already going to sleep. Ah, oh, yeah. I'll make sure my side doesn't do anything like that. But I don't know what the state will do. They'll probably be uncool because it's their job. Rizzo would love Kimbo. She wants a cuddle buddy. Because Izzy won't let her share a pillow with her, to be honest, I don't know. I've been neutral always. Maybe that's why? But, like, he's one of the worst people ever and got a hate crime. So I'll just assume it's because he's nuts. And he wants me to be on his side all the time. 
I was gonna sleep, but when someone is on that much bullshit, it's hard to sleep. If you're gonna get jumped. Good morning, baby. How'd you sleep? I know your side won't. They're very nice to me, and I know my investigators won't. They were also very nice to me. But I'm not as sure about the DA. I haven't met them yet. Oh, Kimbo loves to cuddle. I'm sure he and Rizzo would be BFFs. Muffin kept putting him in his place last night, and it was hilarious. Yeah, people want others on their side, and to be honest, hun, being no neutral will only last so long and get you so far. If turnaround of inmates stays slow. Doesn't your cell lock at night? I'm sure if you sleep at night, you'll be fine. Just don't nap until lockdown, lol. I slept okay. I stayed up late and played Mario Brother and Mario Kart with Hugo and James. I miss Rizzo and Izzy a lot. I miss Izzy kisses. Kimbo is a big scaredy cat, lol. I'm sure you remember Chewbacca pushing him around. Don't pick sides per day, just don't socialize often. He probably picked you because I'm sure you have the most, the worst charges, which makes you top dog. Don't, don't join a gang or initiation. Could be butt stuff. Hun, we knew you'd win, lol. I suck, and I'm sure we can play again. Yeah, I do too. I always look at the pictures of them, and the ones of you and I, lol. Yeah, I remember. Oh, maybe I'm not so sure. He may have just been nuts. That's really not how it works, BB. Heck yeah, can't wait. At least you have us in spirit with you. I sure miss the girls like crazy. Perhaps you don't know that, hun. I'll kick your ass at Mario Party. Oh, also, I remembered something to add to the list, is you have to play Monopoly with me. Yes, at least I have you. I hope. I love them so much. Hmm, okay. And yes, Mario Party is hard as heck. How are you so good? Like, that's the most difficult game, because it's made of a hundred little games. I think I already agreed to that, haha, -ha, but can't wait. Good night, wifey. I love you a ton. I don't know what you'd do without me. I'm cool AF. Insert sunglasses wearing emoji, the like cool one. They'll be excited to see you, because I will do anything to win. LOL. Did I ever show you the video of James crying because I beat him so bad? It was iconic. Well, good, because we're gonna play a couple rounds, and you have to help do my hair. Good night, hubby. I love you very much and miss you more than anything right now. Ha ha ha. Yes, you are, B. For real. That's awesome. I can't wait to watch it. Am I putting more color in your hair? Or what is your plan? Good morning, beautiful. How'd you sleep? How's your day going so far? P.S. I heard you're helping with clothes. I'm like 140 to 160 now, but still the same shape, like that weird triangle you feel. So shirts are probably the same, and pants probs not too much difference either. I appreciate all your help. Yeah, like it was super, super funny. It's super far back in my Snapchat history. Meh, not more color, but like brushing it and putting hair mask in it for me. I also plan on showing you how to dry and brush at the same time. I slept okay. I washed Kimbo last night before bed. He smelled so good this morning. How'd you sleep? Okay, I'm just going to get the clothes you already have and bring them to your team as soon as I can so you can try them on to make sure. They were a little big on you, if I remember correctly. Do you have a suit jacket top and, like, pocket squares? Please show me. ASAP. I can't wait. Ha ha. Get a titanium brush so I can't break it this time. I can dry hair super good. I slept okay. Kind of rough with all the nightmares. Oh, Kimbo all clean and fancy. I do have a suit jacket and ties. No pocket squares, hun. But I got weighed, and I'm 169.9, lol. Lol, I just got a thick plastic one with the top connected to the handle. Not with a towel, though, because it's bad for my hair. I'm sorry you can't sleep. Yee, he was so handsome and soft this morning. 
Okay, hon, and nice. Insert sunglass emoji. It won't send my dang messages. Yeah, I'm trying to save my melatonin for the trial time. I'm glad. Pretty dog. How's my chewy? LOL. Nice any ideas for me to draw for you? I miss you a ton. How was your day? How much do you have left? Chewy's good. Trying to pick on Kimbo like usual, but Muffin more of assumed that role, so now he just plays rough with Kimbo. Hmm. I don't know. A pretty bird or trees? I miss you too, hun. It was okay. I was filling meds for Monday today, so I'm in a good spot. I did lose my house keys, so I'm locked out right now, but I went to a restaurant nearby and got pho. How about you? Like Tin laughed about, I'm glad. That's good. He's playing a lot, okay? I'll do that. Dang, much better than a few weeks ago when you were 600 behind. Sorry you're locked out. I hope you're back in by now. What kind of foe did you get? My day was slow. Saw my lawyer, read a book, hung out with the guys for a bit, did some cards for push-ups, then tried to work out a bit. Then the nurse came by to check on the old dude and gave us the scale for fun. That was cool. Now I'm waiting on meds to come so I can go to bed. And I'm watching Big Bang Theory. Meds actually just came around the corner as I'm typing, so good night, baby. I love you a lot and I miss you a lot, too. Has my letter gotten to you? Yeah, he was being a brat to Kimbo, though, so that's not good. I mean, the ready to fill is still high at the 300, but better than a thousand, laughed my ass off. I got the beef medley foe, which was good. What'd your lawyer say? Good news? Me getting your clothes? I asked if you can wear nice underwear when you're in court, so we'll see. I'm glad you got to play on the scale and know you gained 30 pounds. Proud of you, hun. I remember watching the Big Bang Theory in Mexico on the American Channel, lol. Good night, hun. I love you tons and miss you the mostest. No, I haven't gotten anything yet. Yeah, much better. Probs, all you too. Medley sounds awesome, but like gross at the same time. It's still good news, and they told me about you helping with clothes. I don't know about nice underwear, but fingers crossed, I actually gained 50 pounds, lol. My boobs and arms and legs all have stretch marks, but still got the six pack. That's one of my favorite TV shows, and I didn't know Mexico had an English channel. That's good. That's cool. Good morning, baby. How'd you sleep? And yeah, I'm sorry, I thought I'd sent it, but I forgot to, because I wanted to color on it and forgot. I'm sending it tonight. Laugh my ass off. We got extra help, so that helps. It's just different kinds of beef, which means it's super good. Hopefully, like fat boobs or like muscle boobs, because if it's fat boobs, I'm making you try on my bra, laugh my ass off. Yeah, they'd have like Spanish subtitles, but the audio was English, so that and two and a half men. I slept okay, and now I'm building boxes at work. What about you? Oh yeah, I forgot about the interns and all them. Ooh, that sounds great. They're muscle at the moment, but I might fit in like a sports bra, lol. That's what I watched to learn Spanish, but it was cartoons. I slept alright-ish. I'm waiting on lunch at the moment. You're going to try on my sports bra then, lol. I want to see. If we have the same size boobs, I would be jumping off a cliff, though, laughed my ass off. Yeah, I learned a little from, like, Dora and El Chavo. What's lunch? I don't know if you're watching the news, but Kyle Rittenhouse was not charged with any of his five charges. I'm very angry. Oh, well, no, but I might fit, though. Dora? I used to watch that. Lunch was meatballs. Dinner is red slop, so yay. I'm sorry you're angry. Hey, hon, I got my meds, so I'm ready for bed. Good night, beautiful. I love you. Have fun if you're doing anything tonight. Good morning. I hope you had a good night. 
You know my terms if you fit. I remember screaming at the TV when I was little, whenever she would do something dumb. I feel like you should be angry with me, but okay. I didn't do anything last night since it was Hugo's last night in Madison. We just watched movies together. Good morning, hun. I love you. Yes, I know. I did that too. The map is my favorite. But Boots always could stop Swipper. I'm not going to take a side on this one, BB. So, ooh, what movies? Give Kimbo a big hug for me. How are you this morning? I didn't expect you to be awake at six. I actually like Swiffer, to be honest. Great character. Okay, we watched Big Hero 6 and Bohemian Rhapsody, which both were pretty good. I was awake because who was leaving at that time? And I also had to get your clothes and do errands, cleaning for mom. I'm finally just settled and watching movies with the dog. Really? He just took stuff to take it, haha. -ha. What is Big Hero 6 about? How are the dogs? Thanks for getting clothes. Meds came. I should get some sleep. I've been reading too much today. Good night, wifey. Sleep well. I love you a ton. I mean, he was in a silly, goofy mood. LOLOLOL. It's about a boy who loses his brother and builds robots and stuff. I don't know. I'm bad at describing. Chewbacca and Muffin are okay. Izzy tore like the dog equivalent of an ACL, but she's recovered now, and Rizzo is Rizzo, but it's not too bad. You're welcome, but it's not a lot for a month worth of trials. Also, we couldn't find any of your socks, so I gotta get new ones. What are you reading? Good night, hun. Love you, too. Yeah, he was, haha. -ha. That sounds sad. I like funny movies. I'm glad they're good. And I miss Izzy. I hope she can walk. And Rizzo is Rizzo, as in she's skittish? Or is she anxious? It's better than nothing. Thank you so much, hun. I'm reading my paperwork as well as Shana Ra Ra. Good morning, B. How are you? Yeah, it was sad AF. Izzy can walk, and Rido Rizzo is skittish. Of course, hun. They're gonna be cute socks. What? I've never heard of it. Also, more paperwork or old paperwork? Good morning, hun. I love you lots. I can't do sad movies. I get sad, then can't get out of it easy. That's good, and too bad. I was hoping she'd be a bit better. What kind? The Sword of the Shannara? It's like the coming a ice age, and there's magic and stuff. Super cool. Both new and old. There's not much new. How has your day gone so far? Yeah, I don't like him either, but Hugo chose it. I mean, she misses you, and I doubt it's like super bad skittish. Not telling. That way it can kind of be like a Christmas gift. Oh, it sounds cool. Okie V, it's been good. Hung out with my old neighbor with a dog, Stella. She's the one that got married recently. How's yours? Ah, that's why, because if it was up to you, it would have been a horror movie. Yeah, she's comfortable around Rick. Oh, okay. Thank you, dear. It's good. Like people evolve into elves and dwarves and stuff, yeah. Just takes time. My day is slow. We have the crazy dude shouting how he's gonna someone and sports are on. I'll try to watch a movie before bed, though. Dinner is gonna be gross tonight, but I've saved a lot of Raymond seasonings, so that will help. Exactly. You know me so well, lol. I'd still like to believe I'm part of her top four favorite humans, haha. You're welcome. You might see them before Christmas, but we'll see. Oh, elves are cool. Lord of the Rings will never be cooler than Star Wars, but elves are cool. Still, must not be fun to read. Stay in your room, please. Stay safe. I'm gonna go completely gray if something were to happen to you. I'm sorry. Dinner's gonna be poopy. We will watch a ton when I'm with you next. You definitely are. She loves you a lot, yes. 
you're right on that. But I'd say they're like different categories, and they're both awesome. It's not fun, no, but it's stress relieving. I'm so dang gray, haha. Ha. I shaved today, and wow, no more red face hair. No more brown sideburns. I'll be completely silver in a few months. And I'm not sure if this is safer than the other street. They keep throwing these insane people in here with us. Dinner was better with Raymond Salt. Good night, beautiful. I love you so darn much. Sleep well. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Yay. Remember this so I don't have to twist your arm to watch them, lol. It's a pinky promise, right? I love her a lot, too. Not gonna lie, I never got into Lord of the Rings other than Legolas. Stress relieving reading The Discovery? You're truly gonna be my old man then, lol. I mean, just lock yourself in your little cell, hun. Good morning, hubby bubby. I love you and miss you. I slept okay, but I had to go in early because it's a holiday week, so we're busy AF. How'd you sleep? Pinky Promise? I kind of like them now, after being forced to watch four a day for a month. I'm glad, because she needs someone like you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, we should watch that. And Harry Potter, all in a row. Yes, a bit of stress relief and all that. LOL. I am already old to you, and I really look like it. Hope you like silver. I do spend a lot of time in it, but I like to do my walking so I can get my steps in. I'm trying to lose this belly I got started, and it's hard when I stay in my box. Oof. What is the queue number looking like? Sorry it took so long to reply. I got really into cartoons and ancient aliens, and then I won five games in a row on spades. But yeah, I should use lockdown to get a nap in because the crazy guy was shouting all night, and now he's in our block. Good. Now we can watch them all. Yeah, I'm sad I haven't seen her and Izzy in so long. I'm down for Harry Potter all in a row. I've done it like literally the day I first met you in person. LOL, I'm stressed because I don't know anything. You're so old, LOL. Oh, if your hair is silver, it'll match my undercut color. We'll be a matching hair couple, LOL. How, how big is the belly? Can I squish squish? Q is in the mid 600 range right now. I hope you had a good nap, B. Sorry it took so long to respond. I thought I hit send. Well, maybe like half of them. Ha ha ha. Or only the ones that got above 50% rating. Me either. Yeah, with Talia, right? Sorry, hun. It would be awesome if I had a chance to fill you in on everything. But I can't just yet. Your under hair is silver now? Not blonde. The belly can jiggle when I jump, but if I flex, it looks like abs. I don't know, so maybe half inch thick? You can squish dang, that's a lot. But I bet you can get that done easy. It's alright, dear. I do that sometimes. Good night, baby. I love you a ton. Sleep well. I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning, B. How are you? Ah, oh, but some of the lower rating ones are super good, just not what the general population expects of horror. No, with Kathy. I know, but it's just so stressful. It's blonde, but I use toner so it looks more silver. To be honest, I have bleached my roots since you've been gone, so my hair is a little poopy. Yay, squish. Meh, it's hard because they add in orders as we get them out, and since it's a holiday week, people think we should have known that. They needed meds, laugh my ass off, and are entitled for us to fill it and send it the next day, which we have 9,208 patients, so it's hard for us to keep track of them all. Good morning, honey. I love you and I miss you. I slept okay, but Muffin was at my door this morning at like 6 a.m. when my mom was up trying to wake me up to play. How did you sleep? Oh, okay, hun. Just pick the good ones and not the ones like Evil Tomatoes and crap like that. Yeah, I understand. 
Ooh, I bet you still look beautiful, hun. LOL. Not anymore. I just did a deck of cards, so no more squish. Ah, uh, okay. Dang, you're gonna be busy. But at least you're good at your job, so it'll be easy-ish for ya. Aw, oh, cute puppy. I wish I had one in here. Apparently there's a dog training program in here or something, but no one seems to know anything. I wanted to have a dog with me, but like I'd die inside if they took it after I trained it. I slept okay. I had to use melatonin, though, cause I was up so darn late trying to sleep. How's your day going? I never look at the writings unless I'm looking at buying them. No squish? Yeah, it went up to 900, but it's down to mid-700. Yeah, it's been nice having the dogs keep me company since you've been gone. Chewy sleeps in my bed with me every other night, pretty much. Maybe ask your mental health person next time you see them. But if you get too attached, like you said, it'll be really, really hard for you to separate from them. My day was super busy, and I had to help ship for a couple hours since they were so far behind. How was your day, B? When will we have a call? Ah, uh, I understand. Well, then, we'll pick the ones that people say are good. No, haha. -ha. It's getting back to hard. Well, at least you're chipping away at it. I bet Chewie helps a lot. I could really use him. And mental health has just started to send interns every other week to talk to me. It's a bummer, because all they can do is bring me paper and stuff to write and color. Ah, uh, I'm sorry your day was like that. Mine was slow as heck. We forgot to call last week, so we lost it. But I have a new five-minute one whenever you're free. Meds should be here any second, and there's a lot of tension between two people in here, so I should probably get my drugs and get to bed. LOL, we also found out why the dude tried to fight me. Total BS, and I didn't do anything wrong. They were just a terrible type of person. Good night, baby. I love you a ton, and sleep well. P.S. I'm sending out a letter a bit late, but it's for Thanksgiving. It should get there Saturday or Friday. Sure, hon, but we have to do some of the OG classic horrors, okay? Chewie misses his papa, too. Sometimes I show him a picture of you on my phone. I don't know if that's weird or not. And I'm sorry they're just sending interns, but it has to be a good sign, right? I'm sorry, B. We forgot, but we'll have a super good call this week. Just let me know when works for you. This time, sing me something cute. I'm sorry that person tried to fight you for a bogus reason. And please stay safe from the tension of others. I don't want you caught in the crossfire. Good night, hubby bubby, teddy baby. I love you the mostest. Thank you for the letter, and I look forward to getting it. Okay. Nah, not a good sign. It just shows that they don't really care how we are. Just as long as we don't feel... Kind of a joke, in my opinion. They just don't want bad media attention. Yes, I'm free, like, all the time, haha, -ha. so you let me know, and no, there will be no singing, because I'm in a mental health pod. Literally anything sets these dudes off. Good morning, beautiful. How'd you sleep? Oh, I thought it might be because you're in a better mental state. I miss you singing to me, though. I slept okay. I woke up a couple times. What about you? LOL, no, not really. I can't really get help, because we aren't really supposed to talk to anyone in this jail. I can't, hun. But in person, I'll sing you songs. I slept, not awesome, but it's whatever. My mat is losing its fluff, so it's pretty hard now. How was your day? I'm sorry, B. Okay, start mental practicing. Can you ask for a new mat? It was an okay day, pretty busy, and had lots of last-minute sendings today. Okay, haha. <laughs> no, not really. I gotta finesse a new one. Ah, uh, sorry, B. La last-minute stuff is the worst. I just got meds, and I'm about to get some sleep. Happy early Thanksgiving.
I wanted to be the first to say it to you, haha. Good night, beautiful. I love you. Good night, hun. I miss you so, so much, and especially now since the holidays are starting. I'm really lonely with you gone. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you so much. Good morning, B. Happy actual Thanksgiving. I miss you a ton, too, and your cooking. How'd you sleep? Good morning, B. Happy Thanksgiving. I slept okay again. How did you sleep? I slept bad. There were two female deputies on the night shift, so every time they came in, the dudes tried to talk to them every hour, and it was loud and annoying. Do you have fun plans for the day? And it's snowing. I'm sorry your sleep was poopy. Yes, it's snowing. Can we call? Yeah, when do you want to call? Soon if we can. Thanks for that. I love you and miss you so darn much. Let's plan our next call for Saturday. Everyone is angry today and that whole five minute of our call, three dudes stood around to listen to our conversation. So maybe tonight won't work well. But thanks for talking to me. It made my day. I miss you more. Saturday's fine, I guess. Why do they do that? It's weird. Plus, I'm hoping you'll get my letters. Then we can call, and you'll have some tips from me to make my letters better. But really, whenever is good for you, I'll do my best. Just these guys are really in my business, because what they see from talking to me is the opposite of the news. So yeah, they're trying to get some insider information, I bet. I got bean patties for lunch. Not awesome, but I'm going to make a noodle and all that and put it all together. Make a poverty Thanksgiving meal in my cell, lol. Thanks again for getting me the food to make this stuff. So technically, you're feeding me Thanksgiving this year. I really look forward to them. I need them soon because, BB, I'm not doing so hot right now. And memes are only getting me so far. I mean, yeah, from what I heard from the news that people tell me that, like, you sound monotone and, like, you don't care. But you got a deep-ass voice. Oh, better than Sloppy Joe. We can count it if you want. Our week of holidays. I found a cutter recipe for turkey we can do. Me either. And all I got is the pics you sent me five months ago. Yeah, they gotta look for small stuff like that to twist, you know. It's their job. Eh, kinda. I'ma make a brick, use the bean patties from lunch to make refried beans, and use the meat from the sloppy joe to go on top to make, like, weird shepherd's pie. It'll be good, trust me. Oh, we should do that. How about Cornish, Cornish hens? I've always wanted to make those. Well, I should get to bed. Good night, baby. I love you. Sleep well, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'll try and send more, hun. They got put in a box and moving, so I gotta find them. Still, poopy. Have a good brick. Never had a shepherd's pie before. I've never had a Cornish game, game hen. Isn't that like the tiny chickens? Good night, hun. Love you. I spent Thanksgiving with the Woods, Jade's family, and they all say hi and wish you a good Thanksgiving and that you're in their thoughts. Oh, okay. Thank you, B. Yeah, I understand. Remember what I told you in that letter? Just let me tell you stuff after, okay? There's always more than one way to look at things. It was really good. And shepherd's pie is like potatoes, meat, and peas, and carrots, all in a pot pie. But mashed potatoes instead of cream and chicken. Yeah, it's like tiny chickens. Nice. I'm glad you got to spend it with them. I hope you had fun. Good morning, baby. I love you. Happy Black Friday. I know, but people suck. Make it for me sometime. I love tiny chickens, so I'd like to try it someday. I did. It was very nice, and we watched a movie, then hung out. Good morning, hun. No shopping for me since I'm working. Yes, they really do. 
Heck yeah, you'll like it, ha ha. I'd rather have the alive tiny chicken, and I'd train it to sit on my shoulder. But yeah, it would be good. Oh, what movie? I just saw Birds of Prey. I'm sorry no shopping, but hopefully you'll come home to a letter or two. Oh my god, a tiny chicken as a pet would be so cute, and it'd lay little tiny eggs. We watched Mean Girls because one of Al's friends had never seen it. I want to read one, so hopefully... Yes, you get it. Oh, that's a good one. I watched that in here a few months ago. I hope you got one. Sorry I didn't get back to you sooner. They took the crazy guy out of here. Good night, baby. I love you. Good morning. How are you? When can I call you? Good morning, hon. First order of business is to find a tiny pet chicken, lol. I didn't get the letters. Please call before 10.30, hun. How did you sleep since the crazy guy is gone? I slept very well. I'm calling now. Hey, hun. Thanks for the call. It meant a ton to me. I was going through it a bit lately, and you fixed it, so I appreciate it. Stuff I didn't want to say out loud was, when you said I looked a little bigger, I wanted to say you should see my butt, but I didn't say it, haha. Uh -huh. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of squats and jumps as well as the chest stuff, so I can get moves. Also, these guys smell so bad was another thing I wanted to tell you. I hope you got your raise. I hope you can find a cool pair of goth boots. I didn't say that either, because they would think I'll give stuff out. When are you all going to eat? I'm about to cook a noodle to go with this lunch, and hopefully drown out the garden burger flavor. I love you so much. Of course, hon. I was having a bad time, too, for a while, and that's why I really wanted to call. LOL, wear small pants next time you're in court. Just kidding. Remember, if you get moves, you have to try on my sports bra. No ifs, ands, or buts. And if yours look better, I'm suing genetics. Oof, yeah, some people are taught good hygiene growing up. And sometimes mental health gets in the way, too. I did. It was good. I didn't buy shoes. I've been putting in my savings and getting gifts for people with what I have for spending. I did get a cookbook, though. We had ham and mashed potatoes. With biscuits, of course. How was your lunch? I'm glad we got two, too. I'd say we really needed it. It's hard to wear the smaller pants, because if I gamma exercise, they get too tight and wedgy. But they're going to look awesome, lol. I think they just gave up because of jail. I'm glad you're saving. And, ooh, cookbook? What is its theme, or who made it? Did your brother smoke the ham? My lunch was all right. I got the worker to give me a regular tray because the hot dog was chicken, so I was able to eat it. Then I added a hamburger, corn, and brick, and made another shepherd's pie, and it was great, so overall I ate well. I also can bench 140, so I can lift you no problem. There's a new rule that we can't have tablets during lockdown, so I can't message till 4. Also, are you putting money on my books? Just want to know so I can plan for the coming weeks. I'm going to try and get a little nap in, so talk to you soon. LOL, your butt in small pants. Funny. Fair. It's a Target one from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, so like where I get the home stuff, LOL. Nah, he cooked it in the oven with a glaze, so it was sweet, but still super good. Yay, I don't want to walk for like a week, LOL. Sorry I waited too long to respond, and now it's like five. I was going to wait until like four, oof, but I kept getting sidetracked. I'll put money on them tomorrow if that's okay. Can you tell me what you have there? LOL, is it funny or unsettling? I got close once. Dang, alright, he's going to get better at cooking than me while I'm in here. Very impressed at James. LOL, alright, but I don't want to walk either. I actually do because I miss wearing shoes. It's all good, dear. I got an extra tray for dinner, so I'm actually full. 
lol it was red slop but with the ramen seasoning it was like shitty chili i'm just about out of everything really i've got a few ramens and half a bag of the nibblers a few nutty bars and like a week of the vitamins left four more melatonin and a small amount of coffee but i have hygiene i had to trade stuff to get the hygiene stuff cause it's expensive that's why i'm low on food I'm also good on paper, writing utensils and notebooks, and for sure about tomorrow. Sorry I'm low on it all, I just wanted to be sure I had to have hair soap, hair gel, toothpaste, and toothbrush for January, you know? Well, I hope you had a great lunch. Have fun with your friends tonight. Message me if you get a chance before bed. I love you. Getting into small pants? Funny, because you were a small before you went in, and some of your pants were too small for me, lol. I mean, it's how he usually did it before he got a smoker and got obsessed with smoking everything. You pinkied. I'm glad you ate. Don't buy too much hygiene, hygiene stuff. Make a list, and I'll get it before trial for your Christmas gift. I'm not really going to have plans unless Jade and Al come over, but I don't know. If they are, since it's getting pretty late. I love you tons, hon. I was a medium, at least. Yes, I did, Pinky. Okay, hun, I'll make the list, but I'll be good for a while. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope they can still hang out. It's getting a bit late, and meds are here, so I'm going to get some sleep. Good night, wifey. Sleep well. I love you and miss you a ton. I don't know. I'm a men's medium. Good. I know walk. But still, better to have enough to look good for a whole month. They're coming soon. I am sleepy. Sleep well, hun. I love you and dream of me and dogs. Well, well, alright. Maybe I was a small. Yes, or we don't walk. Ah, uh, yes, very true. I'm glad you got to see them. Good morning, dear. I actually did. I hope you get to sleep in. Talk to you soon. I love you. My cutie, yes, I think you were. Fine. We no walk, but I don't know if I can still carry you. Yay, I did sleep in, and now I'm in the hot tub again. I love water. I love you. Haha, <laughs> well, let's see now. Hopefully I'll fit in my clothes, lol. I'm sure you can. You're really strong. But you won't have to. Nice. I'm glad you got in again. I had two donuts today, so I'm happy. I love you too. How's your day going? If you don't, I'm sure some of my oversized sweats and Adidas pants will fit you. We'll have to test that theory, I guess, lol. Just me running around with you on my back. Aye, two donuts, nice. My day is okay. Just watched the first three screen movies. Now I'm going to watch the Friday the 13th ones. What about you? Also, what's your green bean casserole recipe? I've been craving it since it's Thanksgiving season, and I just love it so much. LOL, yes, I'm gonna wear women's Adidas to trial, haha. -ha. Yes, we will. Also, I'm trying to be able to jump with you on my back, cause that would be awesome. Yeah, I put jelly in the bun and butter on the top and out sugar on it. It is great compared to how it's meant to be eaten. Nice. Make sure you save some movies to watch with me. I watched Housewives of Atlanta for a few hours and played some cards. Now football is on. Green bean casserole, frozen green beans, not canned, cream of mushroom, Frenchies, fried onions. They're like crispy onions that are fried in a small plastic red container. They're in like the seasoning aisle usually, so I don't know the portions exactly, but in your ramekin, ceramic casserole baking thing, could be glass, throw in your frozen green beans, then mix in the cream of mushroom soup stuff until it's like good and thick mix. Then sprinkle the fried onions on top and pour the proportional amount of melted butter on the fried onions. Preheat oven to like 325 and bake until the butter darkens the onions just a tad and it should be done. 
I hope that's easy enough to follow. I kind of just go by feel for almost everything, so directions are hard. Also, I'm just about out of money to text you with, but I'll make it last for the rest of the night. I just can't check this too often. I love you, wifey. Also, that's my recipe. Don't steal it. Never mind. Thank you. I'll add it to the tablet right now. I still won't be able to message you until 4, and they brought back the crazy dude, and one of our chargers is broken, so that stinks. Hopefully I'll get a tablet. Well, I'ma start my nap, and I'll talk to you soon. By the way, what do you think I should order food-wise? LOL, I'm after. I'm sure your suits will fit you fine, hun. If you can jump with me on your back, we're going to have to recreate that scene in Twilight and be cringe. For my sake. That sounds nice. I don't mind rewatching. I rewatched a lot of the movies with you. Besides, I'm saving the Halloween ones for us. Did you like Housewives? Thank you. Also, I didn't plan on stealing it, lol. People know I've been wanting your casserole. Have a good nap. Yes, for sure, and I hope. What scene? I watched all of them this summer. I'm glad you're keeping the good ones for us. It was insane. These women can make an end-of-the-world situation out of spilled milk. It was a nice break from reality, though, haha. -ha. Well, now you and the cops reading this can make an easy casserole that tastes pretty dang good. Don't add cheese. Hey, dear, I had a lot on my mind during lockdown, so no, I didn't nap. But I got stuff done. The one where he tells her he calls her spider and to prove he's fast, he throws her on his back and starts running around the forest. I rewatched all of them over the summer too, lol, like all in two days right after you were taken in. Of course, I got one on DVD that I think you'd like a lot too. Oh yeah, I love their drama. They, like, forget what that people have real-life problems, like having to work and stuff. I'm sorry you didn't nap. I just got, got done gaming with Abigail, so now I'm gonna make Din Din. Well, dang. If I'm gonna be running all terrain, I'll need to do some more exercise. I'm sure I would love that. They're super funny. Me and another guy here have an inside joke about Scream, and the guy who says... I'm feeling a little woozy here. Have you seen Little Women Big World? It's like Housewives, but insane. Same with Vanderpump Rules and Below Deck. We get the Bravo channel, haha. Oh, I'm glad you got to game. What are you going to cook? Meds came, so I'm a bit droopy. So I'll head to bed. I hope your dinner turned out great. Good night, wifey. I love you super much. LOL, we don't have to run a lot. Just hop around and be cringe with me. LOL, I love that guy. He also plays Shaggy in the live-action Scooby-Doo. I like that show, but I've only seen a, a couple clips, not episodes. I made microwave mashed potatoes and gravy and had a bun. Good night, hubby bubby. Sleep well. LOL, okay, yes. That sounds perfect, yeah. I've been hoping to see that too. Well, we can watch together sometime, alright? That sounds like what we eat here. Good morning, wifey. How'd you sleep? Sounds good to me. It was good. I slept okay. I really didn't want to wake up. What about you? I'm glad. I didn't sleep super well. They brought that dude back. How was work today? I just saw the lawyers. I'm kinda bummed out. I had so much on my mind, I wanted to tell them that when I finally got to talk to them, I stumbled over everything, and yeah, it came out poorly, haha. -ha. So I hope they could figure out what I was talking about half the time. Hope you make it home all safe. I'm sorry, it was busy again, around 900. I'm sure they understand you, since they've been around you for so long. I can understand you when you get like that. I made it home, safe and sound. It's alright. Hopefully they'll let him go soon. Dang, hun, sorry that it's so big. Yeah, but you get me really well, so that's not an easy comparison. I'm glad. Sorry it took so long to get a tablet. It's been difficult lately. I hope your day went well. 
Meds are hitting me really hard, so good night, baby. I love you a lot. Good morning, dear. How'd you sleep? I'm going to try and draw today, so I'll do my best on the dogs. Please don't be offended for them. I can't draw animals very well. I hope by now you've gotten my letters from last week. What does your day look like today? Good morning, hon. I slept okay. Really didn't want to get out of bed, but I had therapy this morning, so it was good. Yay, doggy. Also, I might dog sit again, because she has to go back out of town, lol. I love the girls so much, though. I haven't gotten them yet. The queue is back to over a thousand, so it's super busy, so I don't know when I'll respond. I love you tons. I hope therapy went well. I'm glad you slept. Well, nice. I bet those dogs love you. Really? Check if your mom put them somewhere. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. I love you a ton, too, B. It went well. I ranted and complained about my emotions and felt very validated. I love them. One farts a lot. More like Chewy, but it's okay. She's fluffy. I'll look. Yeah, it's super duper busy, and it was poopy. Love you more. Don't fight me on this, or I'll bite your arm. I'm glad you got to do that. Very cute. But stinks that they fart, haha. -ha. I hope you've gotten them by now, or at least found them. Everyone needs their meds, I suppose, haha. -ha. I don't know, hun. I suppose you're gonna have to bite my arm. Hey, my uncle wants to do a video visit with me. What should I do? Should I just have him contact the lawyers? I mean, I don't know why, but it's kind of funny when they do, because they look like very prim and proper dogs. I didn't find them, and I talked to Mom, and she said she's worried why they're taking so long to get here. To be honest, I think it's because of USPS and Holiday Mail. Okay, well, prepare your arm for a famous cat bite. Well, when do you see your lawyers next? Do you want to talk to him is the most important question, though. Because I'm sure they won't mind. I'm sure you read all your discovery and if he said anything about you at all. As long as you don't talk about the case at all. You could also always end the call early if you no longer feel like comfortable talking to him. Like if he's angry or asking questions he shouldn't. Haha, uh -huh. well those type of proper dogs have the funniest and weirdest habits, so I'd love to meet one someday. Ah, uh, yeah, holiday mail is probs it, or someone wanted to see what I was sending you, lol. A cat bite, haha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm prepared. I probs won't see them for a little bit, so I'm not sure. Of course I'd like to talk to him, but I'm sure he will try and talk about it. So I'll just go through the lawyers. It's not something I'm really feeling up to and could deal with, unfortunately. I'm sure they love you. They love to play and get pets. I'ma just hope it's holiday mail thing. I really want the letters so much. Good luck. Well, let him know that. Say, hey, I would love to talk to you, but I'm gonna need a little bit because blank. And just give you a reason. Be it your lawyers have to know before you do it or because you're going through like a rough patch with mental health or just busy preparing for the trial just not let him know you'll plan a time to talk when you're ready i'm sure he'll understand that everything is a lot right now oh i love and miss dogs so much ah uh, yeah they're not as good i don't know if i'll ever top that one you like so much but I hope you read it if you're ever sad, alright? Alright, thanks, hun. I appreciate all the help. Meds just came through, so good night, B. I love you. I'll also almost fi finished another picture for you.